Hey everyone, uh, lots of making lots of videos today. There's a lot of excitement going on. We're getting ready to put this in the water tomorrow. Uh, it is um, there's a little bit of painting that we need to do underneath, so we're going to lift it up now and have it all strapped in. So when the morning comes, uh, it's all going to be strapped in. It's going to be finished painted. Uh, painting and then we're going to be able to put it in the water right away so we may have this in the water by nine o'clock eight o'clock even Going to be the more difficult side making sure that we don't uh, rub on the on the walkway there it's made of steel so it's really strong but it's not meant to have 16 tons of weight um, pulling it from side to side or pushing it off center so we'll, we're going to find out in a second if it's going to be a problem or not it's much better now before it was binding on the ladder so we just moved it moved the strap over a little bit so it's no longer in contact with the ladder and the walkway either so it's just a little off center now so the straps are further out over here than they are on the other on the other side Now over there we're at four meters from the end. Here we're three meters. Should be fine. Should be fine. We'll see you in the morning when we put this in the water. Uh, with it all strapped in, ready to go tonight, we should be able to have a really fast operation in the morning. This should go in um, within an hour probably because all going to be it's all going to be ready to go the hardest part is doing all the rigging and getting the setup done to do the actual work okay so we were supposed to start um, putting the pot on the water and apparently one of these um, one of these controllers in the brake number four or something like that is not working so uh, we have to get some support for the pod um, and then we're going to try to fix it. So I don't know how long that's going to take. Hopefully that's not going to take too long. Uh, the drone, <coughs> the drone's already in the air uh, filming. So I guess I'm going to have to take that down. So we shall continue this in a few minutes, uh, hopefully a few minutes and hopefully not too long. This is Jim. He's going to be operating the travel lift here the crane that's going to put us into the water. Okay, so uh, how does this work? Full control of the machine. Um, these here operate the uh, the shuttles, the crane up and down. Okay. This goes for, uh, forward, reverse. This take, this controls the shuttles up and down. This one here turns, turns the wheels. Okay. Uh -huh. Go this way and this way. You can control the shuttle. Move those back and forth. Uh huh. So, and if everything, if something goes wrong, hit the little red button, and everything stops. So yeah, that's the basic. That's an important everything button. Frozen. It's an important button. What's that? Everything stops means everything is frozen. Yes. Yes. It's it supposed to be. Kill, and kills the motor, stops everything. That quick. Uh -huh. So if anything goes poorly. Doesn't do that, and then everything falls down. No, 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 no. The default on this no machine. Power anything. Yeah, the default on this machine is if it loses pressure, everything locks, and so it will not drop what's on the on the machine. And, and that, that was our problem the other day. It wasn't locking on this one. Yes, and that was like. because the um, a valve in there that controls the brake was dirty. 
Ah. So we've been going through really? maintenance on the machine. Okay. Slowly, slowly, we go through one end of this thing to the other. But we had a valve that was dirty. Okay. So we pulled it out, cleaned it all up, everything works fine. Okay, so the valve is fine. Yes. Okay. Yes, we got lucky. All right. Yeah. Very good. We had one a couple weeks ago that was broken. Uh -huh. And we replaced it, but there's no more in Panama. So we got lucky. All right. And yeah. But yeah, otherwise she's running perfectly and ready to go. Okay. So we don't anticipate any problems today. No. Don't anticipate anything, but I'm ready for whatever. All right. Well, we have a much clearer path today. Yes, I see that. Than, That's good. Than last year. We had uh, quite a few obstacles. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Like I said, we have vertical that we can go and okay. we'll make it happen. All right. Very All good. Right. I guess we're ready. We're ready. Okay, so we are ready. Uh, everything's a go, except uh, I guess we're still putting the jacuzzi on, um, doing the last few things. So I think we just need to lift it up and then take this one ladder down and we're good to go. Well, we have a, <laughs> uh, something in the way of that step. Apparently he's saying the same problem. Uh, sorry, just a second. Uh, Jim's saying we have the same problem as before. There's something wrong with uh, one of the valves. We have movement. Um, there's still some problems with the travel lift. It's not working perfectly. Um, but Jim, the uh, crane operator, he's confident enough that we can get this operation done and we can get this in the water. The really sensitive thing is going to be putting the pod on top and that's gonna to go tomorrow. So he, he wants to get this in the water today, get the, the steel tripod in the water today. And then tomorrow, we're, uh, he's gonna have the rest of the day to, to get everything working with the, uh, with the travel lift. So we won't have any problems for doing the more sensitive operation with the pod tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not as worried with getting this in the water, even if it's not working perfectly. Um, but the, the really difficult thing is the moving the fiberglass pod, and that's super precise because we have to fit that on top of that pole. So there's, uh, there's a very small gap around the perimeter, and that has to slide right on top and if it's not slid into the correct position or if we lose control of the travel lift and the crane, then that could make uh, a big <laughs> big mess of everything. Uh, and we have run out of time to have uh, any major blunders or problems. Uh, so we have to get this right.